On the occasion of the upcoming Christmas and New Year, New Year holidays, visit the PCB Way Big Christmas Sale, where you will find discounts of up to up to 15%, as well as many other prizes and benefits. This project is sponsored by PCB Way. PCB Way is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They provide completed PCB assembly service with worldwide free shipping and ISO 9001 quality control system. Also, on their site there is an online Gerber viewer where you can upload your Gerber and drill files to render your board. So, if you want to make a PCB for your electronic project, PCB Way is a great choice for you. Visit their website and www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, a Vometer, also known as Volume Unit Meter, is a device used to display the audio signal level in decibels in real time. It is commonly found on audio equipment to help users monitor and control audio levels. Some time ago, in one of my previous videos, I present to you analog style retro look Vometer on VFD display. This time I will also describe a way to make a Vometer on the VFD display, but now in the form of a bar graph. A bar graph Vometer is a type of audio level meter that represents the intensity of an audio signal using a series of bars. These bars visually indicate the amplitude of volume of the audio signal across a range. In this matter, each bar corresponds to a particular volume level or decibel level. In this case, unlike the previous project, the response of the VOOMETER in, rela in relation to the input signal is momentary. The display is again of the GP1287 type with a resolution of 256 by 50 points and it can be obtained at a relatively cheap price. The device is extremely simple to build and contains only a few components. Arduino Nano microcontroller, GP1287 VFD display, 10 kilo ohm stereo potentiometers, 4 resistors, and 2 capacitors and diodes. The signal from both audio channels, left and right, is brought to the analog inputs of the Arduino microcontroller. Before that comes a circuit called envelope follower with a filter. As for the code, I took the idea from a similar OLED VOOMETER project, but it is it used the Adafruit GFX library, which is not compatible with VFD displays. So I created a new code with a U8G2 library, which is which has support for this type of display. Uh, the sensitivity of the VOOMETER can be controlled with the potentiometer mounted uh, of, on the back of the device. And now let's see how the device work in, works in real conditions.
Due to the relatively high consumption of the display, it is preferable to power it through the power connector of the display itself, which is shown in the picture. Uh, the device is installed in a suitable box made of PVC material with a thickness of 5mm and covered with a colored silt adhesive wallpaper.